Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of the WebSAM vlog. This week's gone crazy fast. It's been good. Been to Tauranga, saw my family, hung out with my daughter. I've done over 10,000 steps every day. Check out this graph of awesome. I really do need to probably drink more water. Tomorrow, starting work again, uh, this morning shift, so early start, and bring on episode 9. And today, went for another walk, this time in the rain, around the lake. So what's happening? This is called super mode. Uh, this is where I play upside down because, you know, it's much harder to do it that way. The writing's the right way up though. <laughs> yeah, the subtitles of course are the right way up. But you know, it's so much better playing <laughs> upside down. Part of my daily plan, or something that I try and do every day, is to help stretch out my back. I suffer from sciatica and it sucks. And one thing that I did buy that helps it a lot and it's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made, is this inversion table. So the idea is, lock your feet in place, and then you can go upside down. Being upside down helps decompress my spine and make sure the vertebrae pull apart, helps give relief to sciatica. Exciting news, a package has just turned up from China. What is it? It's this. A suction cup mount to hopefully hold this camera to the dashboard when I drive. Cost me like a dollar US, including free shipping. There's another one coming that's a bit shorter as well, um, not as long, so we'll see which one's the best. It's quite well made actually, but the problem is, there's not that many places to mount it in the car. It sort of ends up all on a funny angle, so I'm going to have to play around with it, uh, especially for shots pointing out forwards. For in the car on me, while driving, I've worked out that this stereo, which doesn't work and is a bit crappy, is ideal. It sits on there, points at me, and to adjust it, I can use the tilt function. And if you're wondering why this button is missing, it's like a joystick thing. Uh, it got broken when I put a giant pumpkin in the passenger seat once, and I broke that, and I also broke um, broke that. You'll be happy to know a 186 kilo pumpkin can fit in the boot of my car. Back off home now. We should be recording the podcast tonight, but Chris doesn't have a proper finish time, so if it's way too late, um, it's too late for me because I have an early start tomorrow morning. I start at 5.30 in the morning uh, for work. So we'll see how that goes. The mount attached to the stereo is working quite well for this type of shot. We'll see, yeah, how everything goes. Not sure what I'm having for dinner. 